Oh, goodness. Chico, oh my god. I am exhausted after watching that. That was like the longest wrestling promo I've ever fucking seen. That was... Jesus Christ. He's like one penny bump away from throwing his bar stool through the fucking window. And I was here for it. I was ready for it to happen. I was like, this is going to be a great fucking night, man. Oh, man. Uh, give it up for your local comedy scene in Chico, guys. That's yeah, it feels good to be headlining this glorious open mic. Long <laughs> times ahead. Hey, where the fuck do you think you're going? I've been waiting all night, dude. <laughs> Sit your fucking ass back down. Oh, now you, yeah. Oh, no, dude, the brown guy's up there. Let's all fucking go outside and smoke. <laughs> Talk about how every other fucking white comic was the funniest one I did. No, keep walking. I don't even want you here now. I could give a fuck less than I need I thought you were on your way to go finish your GTA missions, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> You're trying to calculate how many you've missed in the last hour. They're long if you've ever played that game. <laughs> Man. No, you guys are really okay. You guys are about to fucking make out. What's been happening with you two all night? I'm doing well. I was just looking out for my buddy. You do what? He needs to go and sell drugs? Is that like a Chico thing? What time is it? 10 o'clock? I gotta go sell meth? He needs to catch an Uber. Catch an Uber. Right on. Right on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I mean, catching an Uber is better than being the Uber driver, I think, yeah. right? I don't know. Sure. Like, Aw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So what am I holding you up from? No, I was gonna enjoy the show. Sorry. Okay. But you're just trying to beat with your friend? I was trying to make sure he got his little cell phone issue out of the way. So is he that drunk or are you guys that attached at the head? Be honest, you guys fucking? No. And we're not going to judge. I mean, look at all the bullshit you've heard all night. Is anyone going to judge if you're fucking him? No, no, he's just my best friend. Oh, right on. You're just trying to be a good friend. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, that's honorable. That's honorable, man. Yeah. I wouldn't have... Yeah, give it up for this guy who made a good friend. Go ahead, you can give it up for him. That's fine. You're welcome. No, don't thank me. I'm standing here having to do this. I wish I was getting a fucking right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where are you from, Chico? Uh, the Bay Area. What part? I'm from the Bay. Vallejo. Vallejo. Wow. I would have not guessed that. I would have not guessed that. I would have guessed, like... Market Street tent outside of CBS in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, you just get the vibe. I'm not judging. Oh man, that's fun. You like Chico? I love Chico. Yeah, that's fun. Are we all too drunk to give a fuck anymore? <laughs> no, let's go. I love, I love doing shit like this. Yeah. No, and I love Chico. I got asked to be here. This is how fucking great my comedy career is going. I'm gonna have to go there. I like it, because I don't drink either, so this is extra fun for me. I've been sober for six years, so I don't fucking... It's okay, yeah, don't don't fucking applaud that at all. <laughs> don't support sobriety whenever you're trying to have a good time. Dude. I, I like doing it. Go ahead, yeah, sit. Fuck yeah. Do you know her? I do not. No? He's, he's a hoot. You're going to have fun sitting there. <laughs> Bring it on? What do you mean? You just gave me like a karate kid move and said, bring it on. Like, what the fuck is happening? Are you guys saying is this a fucking setup? Are you like, standing in the back and she kicks hard or something? Like, that's fun. What's your name? Marie. Marie? You're a beautiful name. What, what, is, what is your name? I didn't get your name. Colin. Colin? Do you have a nickname now? You got a gnarly nickname? Uh, not gnarly, but people call me Beaver. Beaver? <laughs> you call me fucking Beaver? That's way better than, what you say your real name was? I already forgot, because Beaver's your fucking name now. <laughs> How do you get Beaver? I need to know this. Um, be, be honest, don't make some stupid shit up because you're a fucking comedy show. Two times with braces. Like, I used to have giant teeth that stuck out of my mouth. Oh, so. that's it? Not because you, like, ate a lot of pussy? What a <laughs> fucking horrible name. What a horrible name now. What a horrible way to get that name. <laughs> Man, this is... Like, do you guys care? Do you guys want a joke? Yeah! <laughs> okay, you guys know OJ died, right? Yeah. yeah. The night that he died, I was in Vegas where he lives. If you don't know, OJ lived, used to live in Vegas, and... I get on stage and I go, yeah, OJ died, and like 50 white women didn't know. I've never seen like so much happiness in the room at one time. <laughs> they go, 
are high-fiving like they got him or something, you know, like <laughs> fucking did it again. <laughs> yeah. No, stick around. I get worse. <laughs> but uh, when, I, when I was on my phone when that happened, when the New York Post posted it, they were like, OJ Simpson's dead. And I was like, well, I can't really believe Instagram posts because there's a lot of fake news and like ads that run by that just try to clickbait you. So I went to my source, which is Twitter, well, X. And the first thing I saw when I got on my feed was Caitlyn Jenner tweeted. And her tweet was just so simple and hardcore. All it said was, good riddance, hashtag OJ Simpson. I know, I was like, what the fuck is this? Fucking, the non-balls on this fucking bitch feed. <laughs> it baffled me because at the whole time, I'm like, going through this scenario, OJ died, Caitlyn's like good riddance, and no one's talking about the white guy Caitlyn killed, like we're just gonna... <laughs> but you guys think I'm talking about Bruce, but no, I'm talking about the Korean that came in over in the car. That is a real tragedy. <laughs> she didn't do a day in jail for that either. That's so wild. You guys can Google that. I guess I don't know, someone said, I found it, and like, how'd you find it? Like, I Googled Caitlyn Jenner runs over Korean, and it just popped up. So I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. All right, back to you. That was a joke. You guys get one joke every two minutes. <laughs> I can't wait. Come back to the open mics and tell your DUI stories. <laughs> You know who's gonna get it? Who's getting it? Uh, you guys know what he's talking about, dude. That sounds like you're getting a DUI. <laughs> that sounds like someone who's about to get a DUI would say. No, I'm not going to know, dude. Because you got it all figured out right now, don't you? Look, yeah. well, so you take off your parking brake on. <laughs> Since I don't drink, I just smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. Well, and like shocker, um, I don't know. No one really announced who was doing mushrooms at what time tonight, but I definitely did. <laughs> then the guy before me just started screaming at me, and I was like, Oh my god! <laughs> what a bad time to take mushrooms. <laughs> I kept looking at, <laughs> kept looking at Connor. I was like, Are we gonna be okay, man? <laughs> Because you guys know him, I don't. <laughs> I love it when I feel the, the trees breathe. Are you on mushrooms right now, too? <laughs> you know what, fuck it. Everyone do your mushrooms. <laughs> I have nowhere to be tonight. Everyone just eat whatever you have in your pocket. It doesn't matter what it is. Pennies, mushrooms. <laughs> just run it in, guys. You like it when the trees breathe at you? How much mushroom do you eat at one time to have that happen? Because I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I try to still be responsible about it sometimes, you know, like... Like microdose? Yeah, microdose, you know, like seven times a day or some shit. Like that. <laughs> Real responsible type shit, just a little bit at a time, all the time. Do you, uh, have you tried, like, excuse you, sir, you're rude. Look, we're having a conversation about mushrooms, Miami Vice. You shut the fuck up over there. You, yeah, Beaver, you migrated over there thinking you're all slick and shit. We saw you. Everyone saw you. Fucking walking traffic. Come, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so sorry this idiot interrupted you in the middle of what you were saying. Oh, dude, I'm from Southern California, and I get my shit from... Washington, so yes. Just saying it like we're all supposed to know what the fuck that means. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna say Like straight out of the cow patty, right? Like I know people. Okay, I'm not a cop. I'm not like fucking like, Jesus Christ. Everyone in Chico's got secrets. <laughs> You keep it close. Yeah. yeah. You keep your plug close. Yeah. And then you don't share your plug with anyone. Don't let them make a bunch of money and then forget about you. That's for a plug. And sometimes you're, you know, you're like, oh, how do I get 
tell everybody to pitch a ten again? Like, how did I forget about that pitch a ten? Beaver, are you following any of this shit? <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I spoke out, she said she disc golfs, and that was like, it threw me off. <laughs> You know what, Beaver? You disc golf, okay? No matter how much you can win, those shoes scream disc golf. That's what you Google on Amazon. It's disc golf here, and that showed up. All of it. All of it. Twelve ninety nine free shipping. Trees free. Okay. So when you eat mushrooms, like how many trees do you think you you try to fuck while you're high? <laughs> You ever been so high you're trying to fuck a tree? Yeah. All of the trees. Yeah. They are on to stay. We're all on to something. Yeah. Yes, they were. That's funny. I tried to get my mom to eat mushrooms one time, and I tried to give my mom a, a little piece of chocolate because she's always got a sweet tooth at certain parts of the night, and I tried to give it to her, and she immediately knew. She's like, no, no chocolate that I eat looks like this motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. So I just like, I, so I ate it in the sack or guest room by myself. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> How are you guys doing in the middle? Because you guys are actually like here for comedy, it seems like, or is this your local hole in the wall? No. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you guys. Oh, um, wow. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, yeah, no, I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't been here since. Like 99. 99? You know, when I said everyone eat mushrooms, I was kind of joking, but then I'm not on mushrooms either. No? And there used to be booths over there. So uh, yeah. Percocet? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about you, sir? Did you bring her? Or did you guys come together? Yeah, she invited me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you did come in separate. You walk in, you're like, what the fuck is this guy screaming about? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm an unseen regular here. Oh yeah? Have you been coming here since 19 some odd too? He's like, I fucking own this place. Stop talking to me. <laughs> That's always fun. I did a club in, uh, there's a club in Carson City, Nevada. And the owner likes to sit at every show. And I was sitting there talking about how shitty that fucking casino is. <laughs> and how shitty this club is all the time. So now I like to ask, you know, like, he didn't book me again. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is nice. This is fun. I was doing, uh, let's see, the last bar that I did was, I think it might have been like Sacramento. I was doing this bar and I was talking about how I don't like drink or anything and like I'm on a sober run and some lady in the back of the bar is like, hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and it hushed the whole crowd. Like this, this was like a big bar show that everyone was there for comedy, so everyone was like quiet, listening. And she hollers over everyone. She goes, yeah, we don't want to hear about your boring sobriety shit, dude. Tell us a dick joke. <laughs> it's like, if you ever done what I'm doing right now, that shit don't feel good to hear, you know? So, like, I did a dick joke. Like, I succumbed, you know? Okay, so can you tell us a dick joke? I've been telling dick jokes the whole time, bitch. You're not the fuck up, bitch, man. Take the mushrooms out of your fucking ears. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so, like, I was talking to this other bitch at, at this other bar, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was yelling at me, dude. You're welcome. Um, so then, like, I finish my set and I go backstage, right? And the comics heard that and they were like, hey, you good? Because everyone heard that shit. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And they're like, you don't look fine. What's up? And I go, you know what? Honestly, I bet this is what vegans feel like. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. I got the light. All right, you want your dick joke? Yeah, let's hear the dick joke! Alright, Beaver, you're gonna get a dick joke too, man. You're in the same fucking room. You yeah, yeah, yeah. think I'm only gonna say something she can hear? What the hell, Beaver? What a weird guy to show up to a weird show. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm so glad you're here. I wish your friend would have stayed. I would have made you guys make out, man. Because <laughs> I'm a gentleman. <laughs>